In today's video, if I pull a foil, I open a vintage bag. What's up guys, we're back with another pull a foil, open a vintage pack video, but this one is a little bit different than the other ones you may have seen in the future. In the future. But this one is a little bit different than the ones you may have seen in the past. In this video, every time I pull a foil, we will gain points. An ultra rare will count for one point, secret rares for two, ultimate rares for three, collector rares for four, ghost rare for five points, and finally a starlight rare will count as 10 points. And what will we do with these points, you ask? We'll redeem our points at the end of the video to buy packs from the pack bank. As you can see before you, there's a lot of older packs, so you might not be able to see all of them. I'll move my face cam for this. Dual Alliance and Blue Eyes White Dragon reprint. This is not the 25th, but the one before that. These are in the one point pack. So if we have five points, we can buy five of these type of packs. I have more than just the two sitting here. If we get into the two point range, we can do stuff like Judgment of Light First Edition, Galactic Overlord. Three point range, Stardust Overdrive booster packs, potential Ghost Rare and Ultimate Rares inside of there. And finally, the big packs, the Retro Pack 2 will be for five points. So if we have 15 points, we can get three Retro Pack 2s if that's what we want to do. So now that we've explained the rules, let's do the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. You may have seen these given away in a recent video. They're actually different versions. I had two sets. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What should I have bought with the points that I get? So you're gonna have to watch the video and see how many points we got. Or what do you wanna see me buy with my points? And we will be opening 30 packs to try to get as many points as possible. There will be a point counter on the screen and we will redeem those at the end. So let's get to it. Let's start off with a ghost from the past one. I would love to pull a ghost. That would be an instant retro pack too. We could open as well as having a ghost. So it'd be a win-win for everybody. Let's start here. Let's see how many points we can rack up today. We have Time Thief, we have Heels on Root, we have Cosmojo, and we have... Okay, so the thing about this pack is you can only get Ghost Rares because everything is guaranteed. So Ultras do not count as two points there. That would have been 10 points. It'd be a little crazy. All right, let's try a Legendary Duelist. While not a great set, we could pull a five-point Ghost Rare out of here. So that would obviously be pretty awesome. No pack trick here. And then uh, Ultra Rares are fairly easy to pull in here, so maybe we'll get one. There it is, our first two points. Salaman, great raging phoenix, already adding points to the scale. Legendary Duelist may be a terrible set, but it is pretty easy to pull Ultra, so it'll be great for adding up points. All right, now I'm bringing back an older set, Darkwing Blast. So it's about a year old at this point. Still a lot of really awesome cards inside of here and some really good super still. Some of those uh, bestials are still pretty expensive. There's also Starlight Potential, which would be 10 points. Two retro packs and one single card. Could be pretty insane. So let's see if we can do that. We'll do uh, four from the back. We have a Prediction Princess. There's also you know, potential for secrets, ultras, all that stuff for points as well. Uh, I said two points for ultra. That's only one point. What am I talking about? Uh, it's definitely not two. Amazon is secret. We have a Rux and Special Blackwing straight to the Simos. All right, nothing there, but that's okay. Wild Survivors. Ultra Rare is a little bit harder to pull from here, but the Collector Rares are worth four points here. It's a, that's one of the reasons that Collector Rares are worth a little bit more than Ultimate Rares in this opening. We have Petit Pterodon, Transcendosaurus, Drilganathus. We have Frostosaurus, Ruxin Special again. I just loved a Ruxin Special. I can't help it, guys. Now we're opening a little OTS 22. Ultimate Rares are three points. They're not that crazy hard to pull in terms of number of packs. Only about one in every 16 to 17 packs. So that's why they're not worth as much as Collector Rares. But three points is still a lot. Let's see. We already have one point. Let's see if we can get another point here. We have, oh, there's the super right off the bat. Okay, so... Just a super rare clear new world, nothing too crazy there. Let's try for ourselves another Starlight Rare set, Battles of Chaos. It's a pretty awesome set. A lot of potential Dark Magician in here. Would only be an Ultra, but it would be extra, uh, extra stuff there. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. We have a some more Bird of Perfection, Smoke Mosquito. Mayatid Mutant, we have the Neroy. Dawn Monster Bear Bear. Kaiza, Hidden Star. DDD Headhunt. We have Dogmatica Cabre. We have a Zombie Vampire Secret Rare. That one is two points. We officially are at three points now. Zombie Vampire, pretty solid card out of Battles of Chaos. Very, very nice. I believe I saw that's getting a reprint in the new Megatons. So if you're seeing this video close to when I actually released it, the new Megatons are coming out very, very soon. So use my code down below. You can get 5% off with Sassy Auto. So go check that out if you guys want to support the channel and also save a little bit of money on your tins. Let's try and another long ball hitter a home run it goes from the past one can we pull something crazy we have miracle synchro fusion Madolce chateau we have salaman great falco metaphors fusion and we have a starry night ceremony a bunch of ultras nothing too crazy right there let's try a tactical masters inside of here collector rare sets so we're looking for ultras or collector 
rares. I think this is uh, a European pack, so we got to open them straight. No pack tricks going on. Book of Eclipse. Fiend Grieving, we have a Valence Buster Baron is back again. Okay, I did bring eight Darkwing Blasts. So I, I forgot that I had all these Darkwing Blast packs and I was like, you know, we should probably open some of those um, before they all get reprints because I know some of them are probably getting reprints soon. You know, it's been a while since this set came out, so it's very likely. I, for some reason, these are really sticking together. I'm not able to really do the pack trick very well. Can we get a Starlight? By the way, we never pulled the Blackwing Dragon uh, Starlight Rare, so that'd be a great one to pull and get 10 points. We have a Tier Limit Scream, it'd be a win-win. Maturian Mole Cricket, we have the Tri Brigade Showdown. Scareclaw to Saw, and we have a Meteorologic Aggregator. That is not any points. All right, another Wild Survivors. Can we survive this opening and get a retro pack, two pack opening? That'd be pretty cool, at least one. We have True King. We are two points away from being able to do that. We have Tanky, Rux and Special. I'm gonna Rux and Special that basically every time, so just get used to it, okay? Goes from the past. I do have a few uh, other ones. I, yeah, okay, we're trying to balance them out how we open them. We have the Cypher Blade Dragon, Splash Mage, Metaphor Silver. We have the Sun Seed Shadow and Cut uh, Meteor Black Common Dragon. Good card. It's not a foil. I mean, it is a foil, but it's not a foil in this case, okay? OTS Tournament Pack 22. Let's go. Can we get an Ultimate Rare? It's right at the front, I think. These are the ones that are really hard to open, I remember. Okay, let's just do it like this. We have a Herald of the Abyss. We have a Noble Knight, and we have... A pearly happy memory, okay. Uh, not a happy memory for us. Darkwing Blast, I believe in you. I believe that you can bless us with something crazy here. All we need is one Starlight Rare, and we're sitting pretty here. Three points so far, not too crazy, but also not the worst ever. One, two, three, four. Will that be a Starlight right there? We have Prediction Princess. We have Celestial. Underworld Ritual. Kageto. Amazon Silver Sword. Cucumber Horse, the speed run. We have Blackwing Zonda. Size of battle, and we have the Mitsu. That's a point. It's a terrible card, but that is a point right there. We'll take it. Four points added to the tally. One point away from a Retro Pack 2 pack. All right, this could be an entire Retro Pack 2 pack right here if we can just pull something. We got a nice variety here. Some of them are more conservative, can get basically any rarity. Some like this can only pull one high rarity. We have counter. We have a oh, Tragunity Embergram. Dragoonity's at it again. Let's go. OTS 22. Come on. Oh my gosh. Look at the back. We're just going to go straight to it. Oh, Evo. The back are destroyed on these packs. Come on, Darkwing. We're probably like getting close to halfway through. We got to get to at least 10 points, right? At least five. I mean, five minimum. One more, one more pull. We'll be there. Anything, any ultra secret, any high rarity, whatever it is. Let's go. We have Amazonas Golden Whip Master, Scareclaw Decline, Infernal Queen Salmon, Underworld Ritual, Cash Tira Ogre. Decisive Battle, the Churio Mole Cricket, Amazon Secret Art. We have a Daughter Dagger for Hire. The Fur Hires, I do love them. No points though. All right, we still Battles of Chaos. We got a secret last time, so I'm not like, too, you know, our expectations aren't too high, but I would love to pull something crazy. You know, like a Dark Magician, Starlight Rare, either one would be great. We have Miss, Sonic, Groza, Skill Brown, Dynamorphia Alert. We have Jordan, Silvermine Sentry, Dynamorphia Diplos, and Dynamorphia Reversion, oh, 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 gross. We need something crazy, guys, come on, come on. We have the Time Thief, we need that Ghost Rare, Sunsea Twin, Sun Avalon Bloom, Hieratic Seal, we've got a, a Vampire. I don't think that's how you say that, but it just sounds good when you say it like that. One more Tactical Masters pack. We haven't had any luck with the Collector Rare sets, which is you know pretty normal, let's be honest. But all we need is one big Collector Rare. That would really, really, blow this open. We have the Imperial Iron Wall, Backjack, Cosmic Cyclone, Labyrinth Archfiend, and we have Runic Golden Droplet. All right, we're, we're getting pretty low. We're probably like two thirds of the way through this opening. We only have four points. We need one more point to open the retro pack. Come on, all we need is an ultra. Come on, points. Bless us with something good. One, two, three, four. Send me the luck on the comments, guys. We need some luck. Black Shadow Squall. Trigger Blessing, we have the Augusta Sword, Heartbeat, Catalyzer, Hot Rod, we have Amazon Spiritualist. Oh yes, let's go, we have an Ultra, Mazin, the Battle Ninja. You guys know what that means, the point counter has just gone up to five. And that means we are officially able to get a Retro Pack 2, but we want more, we're greedy. Legendary Duelist, it gave us an Ultra earlier, let's even get a Ghost, that'd be great. It's not my great Helio. Volcanic Rimfire, watch out for that Rimfire, and 
Volcanic well, Doomfire. All right, nothing there. Wild Survivors, I believe in you, Collector Rare Sets. I know you can pull something out of here. You're not just here to mess around. We're not rushing special in this, by the way. Chief, I mean, Chef. Ah! Not only did I Rux is special, I super Rux is special. I guess that was what I meant. I'm not gonna Rux is special, I'm gonna super Rux is special. We failed utterly, but that's fine. We can still get an ultimate rare right here. OTS tournament pack 22. Let's go. Ultimate rare, here we go. I believe in you. The reveal. <laughs> Clear new world, okay. Titanic Moth. Watch out for those moths. Darkwing Blast, we have three of these left. We're officially down to seven packs, I think. Five points is not bad, but we could definitely do better. Darkwing Blast, here's your chance. Let's go, one, two, three, four. We have Infernal Queen, Samon. Pendulum, Black Shadow, Scareclaw, Amazonas Pet Liger King, Cucumber Horse, Zalamander, Venuslyph, Blackwing, and we have... That's the super, I couldn't tell it was a super. <laughs> Dang it! All right, let's do the last OTS pack, and let's just hope there's an ultimate rare in here. The final OTS pack, will it have an ultimate rare? I believe this could be three points right here. Come on, let's do a little pack trick for this. We have the Evil Tile, Nagisho, Sync Blaze, Blast Wave, and... What is spelling? So it looks like the high rarity cards aren't wanting to show up today. Second to last Darkwing Blast. We need something big here. I mean, even a secret would be nice if we could get a couple of one, $1 pack, not $1, one point packs, I guess. One, two, three, four. I mean, anything would be nice. It'd be extra bonus packs. We have the Great Noodle Inversion, Psychic Rover, Tiramut's Grief, Amazonus Augusta, Scareclaw Twinsaw, Amazonus Pet Liger King, Soul Skizzers, Venus Slip in full bloom, and we have Visio Magnum. Well, that's a great card, but it's not any points. I think it's like eight, eight bucks though. Very, very solid. We're down to four packs left. Ghost from the past. Ghost rare, bless us. Ojama Country. Manolche Fresh to start. Mass Change 2. Dark Requiem, Ixies Dragon. And finally, Sun Avalon Dry and Gnome goes from the past why let's try this wild survivors our last collector rare set of the opening we got two more packs of this or uh, after this they're not collector rare sets come on there can be only one super soaring pre-preparation of rights hamburger recipe baby sarasaurus oh and a rock of the vanquisher there we go we got an ultra six points let's go let's go you know what that does it gives us another point. It doesn't really do anything that crazy. Okay, we got two packs left. We're going to go uh, Darkwing Blast. Then we'll go to Battles of Chaos. I wanted to say Battles of Chaos, but we're doing that last because of the big potential there. Starlight Rare, Blackwing Dragon right here. Here we go. Anything would be great, though, for the for the point total. We have Amazonas Augusta, Black Shadow Squall, Stars Align Across the Milky Way, Prediction Princess, Biblio Muse, The Zonda, Tri Brigade Showdown, Silver Sword Master, Two Limit Scream, and finally we have Blackwing Veda, the Emblem of Wandering, a super. And our final pack before we get to go to the bank and cash out Battles of Chaos. Can you bring us any more points in the final pack? One, two, three, four. We have Dino Morphia Sonic, the Agent of Destruction Venus, Doll Monster Mish Med, I don't know how to pronounce that, Flower Dino, Fire Opal Head, Ice Jade Erosion, Mabel Maiden, Ghost Trick Siren, final card here. Give us some more. Secret Rare would be great. Come on. Ice Jade Creation Kingfisher. Okay. No more points in the final pack. But it's not over yet. We have six points. I will now deliberate on what to get. I know that you guys would kill me if I did not get a retro pack too. So I am going to get this. We get to pick one pack from over here. <sighs> Let's just do a Legend of Blue Eyes pack. Why not? Why not? Too old school. I know you guys like old school. We'll finish with the retro pack too. Let's do this 2017 LOB pack. So not even a tw 25th anniversary. So it's six years old. Here we go. Was it worth our six points or one point here? One, two, three, four. Do a little swappy swap for the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Beaver Warrior, that's a great sign. Come on, guys. Silver Fang, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Sensible Block, let me know in the comments if you like this format. We can do it again. We have Grotto number one, Panda, Hinotama Soul, Red Medicine, Grave Digger Goo, and we have the 13th Grave. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a grave. That leaves us with one pack left, Retro Pack 2. We're gonna get about a $200 pack here. Here we go. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon is what we're searching for. Any secret, we go crazy. Ultra Rare, we'd like Genzo, Injected Fairy Lily, something like that. 
Here we go. I don't know what the pack trick is. I think it's four, but I'm gonna do three to be safe. Emergency provisions. Let's go. Bottomless trap hole. Nobleman of Crossout. Some of these commons are worth money. Villasaurus. I think Nobleman might be one of them. Creature swap. Light Force Sword. Yugi. Watch out for that Exodia. Yadagrasu used to be a three dollar common. I think it got after it got the Ultra reprint. It went down. Oh, and a Necro Valley was the rare. Okay, Necro Valley is actually a really good one, though, because Necro Valley is a very expensive card. Okay, no foil, though. That kind of sucks, but Necro Valley is great. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doidster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.